What is going on, everybody? I'm back here with another video. And EA just probably dropped one of the worst games I've ever seen in a while. And I'm going to get into that in a moment. But first, let me share some background information with you guys going on in my life right now. So the, when I'm recording this video, I'm recording it on August 10th. So I don't care. Our flight just uploaded. But I'm recording this video on August 10th. So... Basically, I did just come back from Israel. This is not a pre-recorded video. I am recording this in the state of Texas. So I am, this. you guys may have seen on my channel a bunch of pre-recorded shorts and videos. I do apologize for that. I was wearing a green shirt in almost all of them. But basically, I was just trying to make a lot of videos because I knew I wasn't going to be able to really upload within these past few days. So I really do apologize for that. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed my pre-recorded videos in Israel uploading on the days that I was home in, at home in, in the state of Texas. But now we are going to dive into this game. And so basically what this video is going to be about is going to be pros and cons of this game. Let me let you, I'm going to let you guys know something. There's not many pros. And then I'm going to be going over what I've been doing. Because basically this game did end up coming out around 10 a.m. Eastern time. So, and that, that's basically when I was in school. So basically, I, I, one of my classes, the teacher doesn't really care if I was on my phone. So basically, during that class, I was just grinding out the game and everything. It did end up playing the game a little bit too when I get home. When I got home like an hour ago. So basically, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to be going over the pros and cons. I'm going to be overviewing the whole game. EA, you guys are in big trouble and you're going to hear a big rant during this video. You guys did a fucking terrible job with this game. And I'm going to be explaining why you guys did a terrible job with this game. But now I'm going to be starting with the pros of this game. So if I click on Ultimate Team, there ain't not, there's not many pros here. And I don't, I don't have that much advice. I, what happened? Oh, yeah, I'm going to talk about this, too. That's going to be a con right there. EA, you... All right, so if I click on Daily Goals, here's what I like about the game. I like how they made it to where you only have to complete five Daily Goals instead of seven. As you guys remember, last year you had to complete all of these goals. Nobody in the fucking world wants to play Daily Arena. It's the worst fucking mode in the game. It's I don't understand why that's in the game. It's a it's like it, it's nobody wants to play Daily Arena. It's not rewarding at all. And it's very useless. Like nobody cares about that mode. Not rewarding at all. EA listen to the community. Now you only have to complete five goals. Awesome. So I can just do these every day and get my 150 cash, 200 cash. Perfect. I love I love how EA did that. Good job, EA. That's one of the biggest pros of this game, bro. This game is so bad. Oh, this guys, just bear with me. I like how I like this stuff here. Obviously, here you get a bunch of rewards and stuff. But they had that last season. I'm, I'm just I'm just trying to make the pros list a little bit longer here. First snap, you got all these achievements here. So I actually do like the launch promo that we got here. First snap, it's a really good promo. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. EA did not mess up when it came to releasing this promo. This it's, it's a pretty good promo. You can get players for free. What I like about this promo now is the achievement section that they added here. So, and what do you guys? You guys may be confused, but basically, EA did not have something like this last year where you can look to see the achievements here just by clicking on. It's like, as you guys know, last year they had two bars here. They had challenges and they had journey. Instead of journey, they replaced journey with achievements. I really like how they did that. I really like how they did that. They made it to where you can see the achievements and everything. So it's awesome how they did that. I really like that update. And you guys want to know what else is good about the game? Absolutely nothing. Those are the only two pros that I have about this game. The daily calls which not many people care about, it all is used cash, in the achievement section in the launch promo. Those are the only two pros that I have for this game. Now I'm going to be getting into the cons. EA, get ready, your ass is getting destroyed. I don't, no pause there. No pause because you, you are not gonna, let, you're not getting out of this lightly. I will make sure you guys hear everything that i have to say let's start with the store ea sports why do we still have these stupid packs in the game nobody is paying 125,000 coins for a madden pack 
when all you're getting is three uncommon players. That is stupid. Nobody wants that at all. The best play you're getting is a Jalen Hurts card. That's all you're getting out of this. No one is paying $25 first down starter. Oh, but you get 2500 cash back. No, nobody wants that. This doesn't even give you an iconic player. That doesn't even give you an iconic player. It doesn't even give you that. Three times the value. Oh, but it's three times the value, right? No, wrong. It's not three times the value. They're just telling you that to lie to your fucking face. It's, this is awful. Do not buy this pack here. Do not buy this right here. Oh, never mind that pack. We got the opening drive special. Guaranteeing epics. Four rare players and three uncommon players. Terrible deal. Terrible deal. Oh, but you get to select who you want. Still terrible. Terrible store. No, none of these packs are good. None of them are good. First snap. More money. Money grab. Money grab. Money grab. Oh, you could pay five dollars to get twenty five tickets. But let's. You you can do this ten times over. Wow. Amazing. No. Do not do, guys. These packs are trash. These packs are absolutely trash. I'm not. I'm not opening up any of these packs. These packs are not worth it at all. EA, that's one of your first cons, and you're hearing it. I'm being blunt about this. I am not letting EA. I'm not gonna be a yes man. I'm not gonna be a yes man. EA, I'm blunt as hell right now. I'm tired. I'm jet lagged. You guys have caught me in the worst mood right that I could be in before I even started m making this video. This store is stupid. Fix the store. It's stupid. Nobody is buying these packs. It's terrible. Terrible offers. Terrible offers. Right? The next thing I want to discuss is the gameplay. EA Sports, the gameplay has not changed at all. The gameplay has not changed. It's the same fucking gameplay since 10 years ago. The gameplay is still trash. It's still not good. The gameplay is awful. You guys want me to demonstrate? You guys want me to demonstrate for you guys real quick. And this ties to something else I wanted to talk about. EA. EA Sports. What is this event here? If I go to play this event, right? I'm going to show you guys what I'm what what I'm I'm trying to talk to you guys here. Okay? So I got the ball here, it's 4th and 3. Okay? I'm going to be playing this for like 5 minutes and I'll show you guys exactly what they did here. For some reason, EA made this event like extra Look at this. EA made this event, like, extremely difficult, and I really don't know why they did this. I understand EA's trying to be different. Look at this. I, I can't do I can't do anything. They're clamping the hell out of me. EA, for some reason, just made this event, like, extremely hard for no reason. Like, look at this. I can't get rid of the ball. They're not letting me throw the ball. It's ridiculous. Look at this. Calvin caught that. Okay. Okay, Calvin Johnson. But yeah, basically, the reason why I'm doing this, can you guys tell a difference in the gameplay? There is zero difference in the gameplay. There is no difference in the gameplay at all. EA didn't change anything about the game. I just gave them a freebie right there. I just gave them a freebie right there. I'm not actually going to play this event. But that's another thing I don't like about the game. Gameplay slash this event. Why is EA making the event like this? This event is impossible. Oh, but wait. You got these events here. Hmm. Conquer the boss node for big rewards. If the challenge is too difficult, lower the boss's opponent overall. Good job, EA. So basically, you're making it to where... We have to play through all these events in order to make this event easier. I don't know what EA's thought process was in doing this here. I really don't like it. But basically, you have to play through all these events. This event's coming out in two hours here. I'm going to end up playing it later. And that basically makes this event easier to play. 
Another thing I don't like about the game, why I don't know why they changed it like that. I don't know why they made the event like that. It's impossible to beat. So even if you have a better team, you're not beating this event. Guys, off camera, I've been trying my best to beat this event, and I just can't beat it. It's an impossible event. You get clamped up. You can't throw the ball. They do not. Your offensive line gets fucking plummeled in a second. You can't throw the ball. On defense, you can't even stop them. When you guys, when you use the linebacker glitch, right? Where you try to use the player to run through the offensive line, you, you can't even do that glitch because they just fucking kill you. They kill you in this event. So my suggestion to you guys is instead of rage quitting on this event, make sure to play all these events, I guess, and then it'll make the event easier. I don't, again, I don't really understand what EA's thought process was over that event, but whatever. So that's another con I have about the game. Okay, EA Sports, if you guys do the, if you guys, do not tell me you guys got rid of weights. Do not tell me you got rid of weights. Where are the weights? Like, I don't see them anywhere in this game. If I go to the store, where is the part where you can spend weights? I don't see it anywhere. I, I understand they have it right here. Look, as, as it class can clearly see, I have over 8,000 weights stacked up. I'm trying to spend my weights. But where is the part where I can spend my weights? There's no part in the store where I can spend my weights. Where Where's the part where I can spend the weights? Another con of this game. But those are the smaller cons, okay? Those are the smaller cons. Another thing I have a problem with, why are we using the same team from last year? Yo, EA, you're about to make me throw the phone across the room. You guys are freaking terrible. This is the same exact game as last year. They didn't change jack shit about this game. Why are we using the same team as last year? Why are we using the same team? I thought we were going to get a total different team. But this is the same exact team from last year. So basically what their thought process was here was to make it to where we could use our team from last year to change, to work our way up and make the team better. Basically, when I have my best players... But look, why are their overalls lower? You guys know, this Calvin Johnson was a 270 overall on my team. This Joe Burrow was a 280 overall on my team. Joe Burrow was the best player on my team. Yet he's a 102. And Calvin Johnson, Bo Jackson, and Jim Taylor are all 105s. What? That makes no sense. Why are the players lower overall and we're using the same team as last year? EA, do you, did you guys forget what a reset is? A reset. Let, let me let me define what the word. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really upset. I'm trying. I'm trying so hard not to rage here, but EA really screwed this game over, and I have to. I have to let him hear it. I have to let him have it. Do you not know what a reset is? A reset, by vocabulary definition, is everything gets swiped. Everything's gone. You start over. Doesn't feel like he, here. Why do I have the same team here? What is the use of this coach here? What is the use of this coach? This coach does nothing. All he does is have the play styles, which we had last year. What are what does the coach do in the game? It doesn't do anything. It's stupid. Why did EA add that? <laughs> like nobody cares about the coach. Nobody cares about the coach, bro. This is what I'm talking about. This is the same exact game from last year. I'm gonna go ahead and auto this real quick. Uncommon player. Thank, thank you, EA. Thank you. Thank you, EA. They didn't change anything about the game. The game is the exact same. EA, you guys dropped the ball. I I'm too tired to rage, and plus there's people in the house right now. I'm showing the home of my parents, but EA, I'm, I'm, I'm way too tired. EA, you guys made... You guys copy and pasted the game. What took you guys... Almost three days to copy and paste the game because that's what you guys did. That's what you guys did. This game is not, there's nothing different about the game. All you guys changed were little tweaks. Little tweaks. That's all you guys did. You guys didn't change the game at all. You guys are trash. Oh my god. 
Everything is the same. There's nothing different about the game. This, I worried they were going to do this, okay? I worried they were going to do this. So if you guys aren't tuned into the NBA Live mobile community, basically they just kept carrying and copy and pasting the game, copying and pasting the promos, all of that. They just did that with Madden Mobile. EA just, I don't know what's going on with EA Sports. It seems like they just, they're lazy devs out there. They have a lot of lazy devs. Because we're getting the same exact game every single year, every single month. It's the same. Like, they didn't add nothing new to this game. Nothing is new about this game. EA Sports did not change anything. Shame on you, EA. Shame on you, you shit-ass company. Nothing was changed at all. You guys suck. You guys suck. <sighs> Basically, what I'm trying to get out here is, I don't know how much longer EA is going to be existing. I don't be, I'm not going to be surprised if Madden Mobile and NBA Live Mobile don't exist in the next few years. The EA just hasn't cared at all. They don't care about the community. They don't care about what people have to say. They can't take criticism for shit. They're real. They they're 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 sensitive. They're a sensitive company. They cannot take criticism. They think putting out the same game every year is gonna get the people back. That's not true. EA really fucked up with this game, and I, I think there's other cons out there too. But I'm not gonna mention it in this video because this video is gonna start to get too long soon. But EA, what are you guys doing? This is not. This isn't right. I asked for an auction house. Did we get an auction house? No, I asked, I believe I asked for like a live PVP. They do have that in NBA Live Mobile, but it's it's, a, it's not good at all. Like, I don't like it. Did we get a live PVP? No, we did not. You know what we did get? We got Daily Arena in the same shit we had last year that nobody cares about. Oh, another con. I just remember, I just remembered another con. Why are they still not having this out yet? Yeah, what are you guys doing? Why is this not out yet? Why is Daily Arena, why is Unlimited not out yet? Like, if I click on it, I can't do anything here. EA, what are you guys doing? Bring that out, please. Also, apparently, you have to level up a little bit to unlock this here. I already leveled it, leveled up enough to unlock this. Another stupid, I don't know why EA did that. They made it to where you have to level, I think, level 5 or something in order to unlock this here. I don't know what the point of that was, but whatever. So... Now that I'm done raging and now that I'm sharing the cons and the pro and now that I'm done showing the pros and the cons of this game, I'm going to be talking about what I ended up doing for the game here. So basically, I ended up when I first opened the game, obviously I was in the middle of class so I couldn't rant, but I was thinking in my head, what the fuck did EA do to this game? I was thinking about that in the middle of class. I was thinking about that while the teacher was up there talking about fucking respect agreements and fucking class rules. I was thinking in my head, fucking EA Sports, they did it again. They did it again. They somehow managed to make the game identical to last season. When you think a new season means new changes, new features, new all that, we aren't getting that here. EA, you guys really dropped the ball here. We are not getting a new game here. This is the same game as last year. We, you guys dropped the ball. You guys dropped the ball. I'm, not, I'm, I'm being completely blunt about this. You guys are lazy motherfuckers. I'm being complete blunt about I'm going to be complete blunt about this. Did someone hurt y'all? What are you guys doing? It's the same game. Like, can you guys make... Can you guys add something different? Can you guys add something different about the game? Like, it's like this same game from last year, man. This is the same game from last year. They didn't add jack shit to make the game better. None. None. Nothing has changed about this game. At all. At all. The gameplay is the same. The same graphics. You can't really expect EA to add better graphics. Oh, I probably shouldn't have played again there, right? Am I going to get a reward for playing again? I hope so. The reason why I'm playing the event here and not autoing it is because you get the rewards and stuff so like you get the achievements and stuff so that's why i'm just playing the event again 
All right, so I, can, I can't play it again. Good. So they do give you 50 points for every time you play this. Now, the reason why I am playing the events now on camera is because I just want to show you guys what the, event, the, the, the gameplay is about a little bit. Guys, same animations. Nothing new has changed. Do not let EA fool you. Nothing new has changed about the gameplay. Same graphics, same animations. Very big letdown. EA, you guys suck for this. I'm sorry. You guys suck for this. Now... I am going to be, I'm not going to, I'm actually, actually going to be sharing some advice for you guys too on how to grind a new game. <coughs> same game, same game. <coughs> season nine. <coughs> season nine. <coughs> new game. <coughs> See season nine. So, sorry, the, 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 sorry, there was a little commotion downstairs. So let me show you guys my, my I, sorry, I don't know what I was doing there. That that was cringe. No, that, that wasn't even cringe. It was it was kind of like me just going out of going out of space there. So let me show you guys my progress real quick. So I did end up getting an epic player here. And who I'm gonna be going for this promo? I'm probably gonna end up going for hmm. I'm probably gonna end up going for Travion Diggs here. That's gonna be the guy that I'm gonna go for actually. So I currently have one Epic player done. Now this is a two-week promo. So and then here I got some players I'm just gonna throw here. And then I have five players there. So basically this is the same setup from the what was the last promo called? The last Gradion, whatever, the last final frontier promo. I think that was the last promo we had of the year of uh, season nine. So that's base they basically made the same exact promo. Again, EA, stop doing that. Like please. Stop doing that. Stop making identical promos. People get bored after a while, don't you think? When you make the same setup. Now, here's something different that they did for this promo, and I've already talked about it. They made that stupid boss event like that you can't beat. You have to beat the mini boss events in order to make the to work your way down, basically, to work the event down to make it to where it's easier, the overall's lower for the opponent. Now, here's something. Now, one thing that they did change is that you got these tickets here, and basically, you can exchange these tickets and get rewards and stuff. Which is cool. So I'm probably going to save up and try to get 100 of these tickets in order to get this. This pack basically gives you a chance to get six iconic first snap players. You guys heard me right. Six iconic first snap players. So basically they have these packs. It's basically all or nothing. Either you're going to get everything or you're going to get nothing. So it's a gamble. It's a gamble basically. So basically you can either just... you can. Play it safe and spend 10 tickets to get 200 points, right? Or you can spend 10 tickets to, to get this. I'm going to be saving up my tickets to see if I can get myself one of the bigger packs. I'm going to go all or nothing. I Screw it. I don't care. I'm going to go all or nothing on this promo. Because if I end up getting six iconic players, you guys already know my team's about to be stacked. So I like how they did that. That's new. That's the only new thing about this, the, this game so far. They never had this in a game before where you just spend, you can collect tickets and then you get you get packs or you can spend basically spend you can risk it all or you can just play it safe and spend very few tickets to get guaranteed rewards and stuff. That's the only thing that I like about this promo. But basically the promo's the same. The, both this promo's the same as all the other promos we would get from last year. So yeah, so basically that's my progress. I already have one epic player. I didn't end up playing these events here. Which gives gave me the players. Of course, I can't play this event if they keep raising the overall. I'm always going to call EA out on bullshit. I don't know why they keep doing that, where they keep extending the overall. It's so annoying because then that makes it to where I can't play the event here. I am going to go ahead and open up the packs here. You guys could sk skip through the, the, the video here because I'm basically just going to be talking here. I'm just very disappointed that EA just made this decision to make the game the same. I don't know why they keep... They just did that for NBA Live Mobile and now they're doing it for this game. They just totally ruined the game here. They keep giving me Mark. Why do they keep giving me Marcus Davenport, bro? I've gotten that dude so many times. Now, here's the big question. I am I am a Madden Mobile YouTuber. Does this game suck? Does this game stink? Is this game trash? Yes, it is. Am I going to still play this game? Yes, I am. Because I'm a Madden Mobile content creator. And I'm, I'm, I'm one of those blunt... Madam mobile content creators, I'm gonna call E8 out on their bullshit. I'm not I'm not I'm not a yes man. This is Hollywood, motherfuckers. This ain't this is this ain't this ain't Montana. This is Hollywood. Ain't no sugarcoating going on over here. 
This is Hollywood. I'm calling EA it out on their bullshit. This is a terrible game, EA. What are you guys doing? This is the same exact game from last year. You guys suck, okay? You guys suck. You guys need to retire, okay? You guys need to retire as a gaming company because you guys just clearly forgot how to make games. Josh Allen is a cover athlete? What the fuck? He's not the best player in the NFL. That's another con of this game. Why is Josh Allen the cover athlete? He's not He's not as good as Patrick Mahomes. He's not as good as... He's a, Josh Allen ain't even top 10 in the NFL. What are you guys doing? He's not a cover athlete material. Okay? He's not cover athlete material. Alright, I'm done ranting about the game. Now, before I end off the video, I'm going to be giving you guys some advice on how to make your team the best that it can possibly can. First piece of advice, watch all the ads. Watch all the ads. I'm I haven't been watching my ads yet because I, I just I just been so disgusted about by how bad this game is. Go to the store, ignore all these packs here. Ignore all these packs here. You're going to buy this once. What you guys are gonna do, you're going to ignore and not buy one pack here. You're going to buy this once because that you get that daily goal, uh, extra cash and stuff. And then what you're going to do is you're going to watch all the ads. I already watched the ads for the packs here. I need to go ahead and watch the ad for the coin pack. I won't be doing that off camera. Oh, yeah, and don't buy this thing either. Do not buy these packs either. They're void. They, they suck. Okay, do not buy any of this stuff here. Save your cash. Keep stacking up your cash, guys. Because EA is not dropping packs. That's worth that stats. That's worth uh, spending cash on. I don't know why they they just won't drop something that's worth spending your cash on. They keep dropping the same packs and it's just getting ridiculous. Okay, advice number one: watch your ads and do not buy, do not spend anything, do not waste your coins, do not waste your cash right now. Save your cash and your coins. Okay. Advice number two: make sure your stamina is always running. Okay. Make sure your stamina is always running. I always have my stamina running and everything. Oh, yeah, and this, too, again, is the exact same. Nothing has changed. This campaign is the exact same. This campaign is the exact same. It, nothing has changed about this campaign. But I did end up grinding a lot of it. Like, all these these are all the events that I played here. I'm on this event now, so these, that's my second piece of advice, guys. Grind the hell out of this. You're getting free cash. You're getting free currency. You get free coins, free training points, free... XP and free cash from this. Play all these events. Okay, I'm going to play an event right here and demonstrate. I'm, I'm trying to show some gameplay in this, in this video too. So that's my second piece of advice. Third piece of advice, do not train any of your players right now. And the reason why I'm saying that is because the, the players that are currently on your team are going to get outdated. Those players are gonna current. Those players are getting outdated in like two, three weeks. You're gonna be replacing them with new players. So yeah, do not update your. Do not train any of your players right now. Save your coins and all your currencies. Uh, just keep playing and grinding these campaigns. That's all you guys need to worry about doing right now. So that's what. That's basically it. That's basically the advice I have for you guys. Obviously, watch the ads. Don't don't give EA any money. Do not spend your cash right now. Final verdict. On the Jordan scale of 10, this game gets a 1 out of 10. This game is a copy and paste from last year. Do not let EA fool you. This is the same game from last year. They did not change anything about this game. At all. Nothing has changed about the game here. EA, you disappointed me. You you really upset me. If I see one of you devs in person, ooh, ooh, you guys don't even want to know what would happen. Oh my god. What where's EA in Florida? I, I swear to God, bro. I swear to God. Florida be making people so fucking underdeveloped. That is why EA is terrible. I just figured it out, guys. EA is located in Florida. They live in Florida. Florida is obviously one of the least like, but if you want to, if you want basically if you want to go and fit them on people that, that aren't very like high intelligent or like highest developed, go to Florida, go to Florida because that's where EA lives. EA lives in Florida. 
So yeah, that's basically what I'm trying to say here is EA's just leveled down. They've leveled down, and they don't they 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 don't really have the the. I'm really don't want to. No no no. I'm blunt. I'm blunt. I'm blunt. EA's IQ. EA's total IQ. I would have to say is about forty. If you were to average all the people working at EA, EA's IQ probably have to be about forty. I have more IQ than five people working at I at EA combined. And why am I shitting on them, you may be asking so bad? Well, you can see where the game that we have right here. It's the same exact game from last year. No effort was put into this game. The only thing EA changed was the was the card art in the daily goals, making it to where we only have to complete five daily goals. That is it. Why am I taking a giant shit on EA? You guys should now clearly see why I'm sh taking a shit on EA. They don't deserve credit. They deserve criticism. They dropped the trash game, and I am just gonna give them. I'm gonna get lay the facts straight. They didn't. They EA does not care about the community at all. They don't care about the community. And with that said, I'm going to be ending the video right here. Wait for my next Madden Mobile video, where I will be completing one of the free masters and be and I will be doing some gameplay. So make sure to check that out. Later today, I'm also going to be dropping a video on my traveling experience where I'm tra I'm going to be talking about my 72-hour timeline of traveling in my first day of school. So make sure to go check that out. EA, very disappointing game here. And with that said, until next time.